Howdy y'all, welcome back to Guns and Barbecue. So today we are going over barbecue guns. So a couple things to think about when it comes to a barbecue gun is what kind of barbecue are you going to? Is it just going to be adults there? A lot of drinking or anything like that? Are you going to have children present? Um, are you single? Are you going there to mingle? Uh, these are all vital things to take into consideration and can affect what gun you're going to choose for your barbecue gun. Um, my Ruger SR 1911 and 10 millimeter is usually going to be my go-to, uh, just because one of the things to also keep in consideration is what you're carrying that barbecue gun in. Um, my 1791 holster is a great looking holster. It feels great. Um, even if you didn't have a gun in this, you're still going to turn some heads where they're like, man, that's a good looking holster. Where'd you get that? So, uh, you know, your barbecue gun is going to be a conversation piece. Don't have it ruined by, you know, one of those nylon bulldog holsters. You want it to be carried in something that looks good. Um, and again, for me, 1911, it's classic. It looks great. Um, it's just, it's just a, always a good choice. Then option number two is, Hey, there's going to be a bunch of kids there. Uh, go with a wheel gun. Uh, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. A lot of kids associate wheel guns with, you know, cowboys. Uh, so I think in that case, it's actually a very kid friendly choice. Um, a lot of people will also, you know, let's say they're a little anti gun or anything like that. You know, we'll, we'll say snowflakeish. How's that? Um, if they're a little bit on that snowflake side, if you're carrying something that's semi-auto compared to something that is a wheel gun, uh, they might be a little bit more forgiving uh, with that wheel gun. So, something to also keep in mind. But again, what keeps this from being my barbecue gun over my 1911? And that's my Galco holster. And while it's not a terrible looking holster, it's definitely not on the same level as my 1791 holster um four inch barrel uh again just a beautiful gun here uh those wood grips which you can always get custom grips for either of these guns uh again you want your barbecue gun to be looking good it's going to draw attention it's going to make people talk so don't have it look like crap and don't carry it in crap but let's say you're single and you're going to mingle well, in that case, you're going to want something that might have some engraving, some gold uh, coloration to it. Definitely stainless. Uh, that is always turning heads. Something with uh, faux ivory or pearl grips is always uh added bonus because, well, hey, you need this thing to be a panty dropper. You're single. You're going to mingle. You want the ladies to know what you're working with. And when you're showing off a seven and a half inch barrel, you are letting them know. So, uh, that's just what I kind of think constitutes a barbecue gun. Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear it. Uh, if you have not done so, please hit that subscribe button. Give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either one is appreciated either way. And, uh, you know, hit that share button if you want even. I appreciate all of you watching. I appreciate all you subscribing. It really means a lot. So until next time, keep your guns firing, your smoker smoking. See you later.